Hey guys, welcome to the 25th Autodesk Inventor tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue looking at work planes. And the first work plane that we're going to be looking at is two coplanar edges. And that basically just means you have to select two edges that are on the same plane. So we can select this edge right here and this edge right there. And it will basically just create a work plane that includes both of those edges. So we'll just create a work plane like up and down right there, connecting both of these edges. All right, or we could select um, this edge right there and this edge all the way back here. And it will basically just create a plane um, connecting both of those. So there'll be a plane going right uh, diagonal right through there. All right, so we're just going to go up to plane, go down to two coplanar edges. So just select uh, two edges that are on the same plane. So we're going to select this edge right there and this edge back there. And as soon as I click on the second edge, we see that it did just create a work plane that connected uh, both of those edges right there and if I rotate this you'll see that that plane does in fact include um, both of those edges right there and we can select any two coplanar edges but remember they both have to be on the same plane so we couldn't select this edge right here and this edge down there because those edges are not coplanar there is no way to connect both of those edges with a single plane but we could select um, this edge and that edge right there because those edges are coplanar. So we can just go up here, go down to two coplanar edges and select this edge right there and that edge right there. And we see that it just created a work plane that connects or includes both of those edges. So that's pretty much all there is to uh, two coplanar edges. And the next one that we're going to be looking at is tangent to surface through edge. And that basically just means that it will be tangent to a curved surface and it will contain an edge. So the work plane will look something like this. It will go diagonal right there so that it only comes in contact with this curved edge once and it includes this edge right there. So let me just rotate this around again. Go up to plane, select tangent to surface through edge. So first we're just going to want to select our curved surface which for us right there is that fillet and then we're just going to go ahead and select an edge and for me that's just going to be this edge right there and as soon as I click we see that it just created a work plane that is both tangent to this curved surface and it includes that edge right there so again tangent basically just means that it only touches it once and no matter how far we were to zoom in here we see that it does in fact only come in contact with this curved surface once alright so that's pretty much all there is to that um, the next one that we're going to be looking at is tangent to surface through point and that basically just means that it's going to be tangent to a curved surface and it will include a selected point so we just go up here and go down to tangent to surface through point so we just select our curved surface which is just going to be this uh, circular part of our cylinder right there and then the last thing that we have to do is just select a point and I already created a point and it's just basically on the edge of that circle right there so as soon as I select that point we see that it just creates um, a work plane that includes that point and it is tangent to the edge of that um, cylinder right there so no matter how far we were to zoom in right there um, that only touches the edge of the cylinder there once alright so that's pretty much all there is to that one and the final one that we're going to be looking at is tangent to surface and parallel to plane so basically what this one will do is you first select a curved surface and then you select a plane so it will be both tangent to this curved surface right here and it will be parallel to um, this surface right there so we just go up here and go over to plane select tangent to surface and parallel to plane so as always we're just going to go ahead and select our curved surface first and then lastly we have to select our um, plane that we want it to be parallel to and for us it's, it's just going to be the back of this half cylinder right there and as soon as I click we see that this plane that it just created this work plane is both tangent to this uh, cylinder right there and it is parallel to this plane right there so if I just um, change the view right there we see that it's perfectly parallel to this plane right there and is tangent to this um, cylinder meaning that this plane only comes in contact with the side of the cylinder once alright so that's pretty much it for this tutorial so see you guys